name, I will also give an explanation as she comes forward. Uh, she is being honored tonight, not only for her diligent work as a representative of the 7th Legis Legislative District, but also because you may or may not be aware, but she took it up on her shoulders, wide though they aren't, to simply stop the killing of black men with capital punishment in the state of Illinois. Give that a hand. Now, let me explain why this is important to those of you that don't have a clue. There are two things that were known already. One, the death penalty wasn't a deterrent to anything. So having the death penalty didn't matter. In fact, for certain people, it was advantageous. I kill someone, they kill me. OK, it's over. That's the end of that. Saying to the guy, though, you kill someone, we're going to make you sit there for the next 45 years and think over what you did changes the whole concept. And interestingly enough, in Eastern philosophy, a quick death is an honorable death. It's only given to warriors. It's not given to murderers. Murderers are demanding, no, you just sit there. You just suffer because you were foolish enough to take a life. However, I will tell you, at one point, even though I knew she had taken up the fight, it looked so badly, and the Republicans and others were so interested in the death penalty and continuing it, I really didn't think she stood a chance. And then one day, Mary Yarbrough, I looked on television, and there she was, standing next to the governor. I really think she wanted to push him out of the way. Standing next to the governor while that legislation was being signed. Give her a big hand. Also, also, uh, we got to vote for her in March 20th. She's running for a court of deeds. She's moving from the state rep up. And we, uh, you know, we work together. We work together as a team. That's right. It may not, not be all the time that we disagree, but we agree more than we disagree. Thank you. And this is America. We have our right to agree and disagree, right? Yes. We can, be dis we can disagree without being disagreeable. Thank you. And that's, I think, what we have did. But we are going to work hard for her and give her that seat for court of deeds because she has proved that she was relevant to state rep, and she has proved that even though she passed that bill with uh, State Senator Kwame, Kwame Raul, mm -hmm. she can do the job moving up. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, yes. Thank you, Bill. And I know, I know that you don't give me to award, so I really appreciate um, this. Um, Carrying the bill to abolish the death penalty uh, Illinois represents the most important thing I could have ever done as a legislator. The most important thing that I ever could have done as a legislator. Yes. The most important thing yes. that I ever could have done yes. as a legislator. It made me feel like I, I had to get this done because it was so important to so many people. Um, what Quincy didn't tell you is that there were 23 men on death row who um, about 11 years ago were let off death row because guess what? They weren't guilty. Yes, they weren't guilty. So how many times have we made that mistake, not just in this state, but in other states across the United States where we have killed innocent people? I would not want that blood on my hands. Yes. My husband and I had the opportunity to go to Rome in November, where they had a celebration as a result of at Illinois being the 16th state. So, you know, it wasn't like we were the first state or anything, but, you know, 16, we'll take that. But we, they lit up the Colosseum there. And those of you that are Bible readers know what the Colosseum used to be used for. They used to kill the Christians there. They yes. used to feed them to the lions and all kinds of stuff. Well, today they do something a little different there. So I was very pleased we had an audience with the Pope who encouraged our work and encouraged the United States to continue this work. So thank you, Bill, and thank you all of you for uh, your continued support over the years. But again, I say this is the most important thing I could have ever done in my tenure. In 